na hoa o na lahu i like ole a puni ka honua ke pai pai aku nei ia o ko i ke ia ka kai aka i loko o ka hoa mai ka ia o ko ka hoa e a mai i ke ia ke e hina o ke ia aha hano hano o he ola ola ke pai pai nui aku nei ia ka ko i ke a pau e ki i e ho ola he pono e ola lo ia ka ola lo. Ola, ola lo ola. Ola means to live and thrive and to have our language, all of our languages, truly living and thriving in a bunch of environments that surround us, generation after generation. That has been the single driving force for the Ahapunana Leo for all these years. Over the years, working with a variety of stakeholders, but namely the parents who've made the decision to raise their children, speaking and using their language every day, we've definitely made progress here in the Hawaiian language movement. We have a long way to go, but we are truly thankful to be able to see and hear our language being spoken by learners of all ages in a variety of contexts. And working together with our Ohana Oivi, our indigenous cousins, if you will, has been a critical part of our success. Collaborating on strategy, advocacy, even teaching strategies all together only helps us reach our goals individually better and more efficiently. And we've hosted hundreds of our Ohana Uivi over the years, and for many, we do offer an example of a model that works, but more importantly, of simply what's possible. So I knew two years ago that we wanted to come, so we've been planning for two years to see how your school's set up, because we don't have anything like that in our region. We wanted to show our Head Start staff, like this is what immersion looks like. This is the uh, successful model that Padukudadin uses. The high schoolers who guided our tour were the uh, most impressive to me. Uh, very well spoken, very knowledgeable about what they were talking about, able to speak in front of people. And so those are the kind of things that I've been preaching back home that comes with the language and the culture and the ways. I really think that it's important to pass on and to perpetuate the knowledge that is passed down to us from our uh, ancestors, our Kupunan, and uh, to really pass it on myself to the next generation. We have a better understanding of our um, Hawaiian culture and our history. That you could tell that the leadership in the school has developed these youth that take pride and advocacy in what they do and what they love, that it created a passion in me of, you know, what is the message of our schools? What is the message of our youth? Do they have the pride and the advocacy that we heard at the student panel, at the teacher panel, that, you know, learning your language is a privilege, but carrying on your language is a passion. It's amazing to see the product of our efforts in these youth who are proof positive of the value of all the hard work that it does take to revitalize our Olalo. And we're excited and we enjoy sharing this with other communities who are working towards the same goals so that we can all continue to grow together. We do realize that our experience may differ from some other very successful models and approaches to language revitalization, but for those who are in similar situations and can benefit from working together, we are really encouraged and energized by that because the things that we can accomplish together are limitless. You need this sort of inspiration. All of us are, are on this waka and we're, we're going to a place that we've never ever been before. <laughs>学会なんか急の靴長は予定にはね、もう一度だなったのも、ガンシマナの、あの、世界で有名なプナラレオの校長先生だから、不意形も乗っていかないのと、ところにちゃちゃんと、振り合い、やっぱり、ガンシマシラ
見えるほど。